Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. <clears throat> well, today we're in the ham shack again as usual and we're going to do another astronomy video. So, <clears throat> if you listened to the last one, it was uh, kind of a basic uh, binocular astronomy, what you need to do uh, binocular astronomy. Today I'm going to point out a few uh, books and other reading materials that you might want to procure uh, either at the library or buy yourself your own copy. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get into some books that are very helpful uh, if you're going to get in and become an amateur astronomer. So let me get my glasses on and we'll start showing you a few books that might help you uh, with the hobby. <clears throat> First one I want to talk about is uh, Barnes Celestial Handbook, An Observer's Guide to the Universe. Very popular book among uh, amateur astronomers and uh, really anybody that's just interested in the night sky. It's a two volume set Okay, so there's two volumes of it, and you can, of course, all these books, I'm pretty sure uh, I'll get you some links down below the video uh, directly to them, but I'm pretty sure you can find them in any bookstore or on Amazon, uh, <clears throat> you know, either way, uh, they're so popular that I just can't believe they won't be on there, and I didn't check ahead of time, but uh, I... It would blow me away if you couldn't buy them on Amazon or in a bookstore or have them order them for you since they're very popular, all these books that I'm going to show you. So anyway, the first one is the two-volume set of Burns Celestial Handbook. And, you know, virtually everything that you can possibly see in the night sky is illustrated here with photographs and a written description of the object. Uh, <clears throat> very, very complete. All the constellations, all of them. And uh, anyway, you can't go wrong with Burns Celestial Handbook. So the other one that's kind of real popular with beginners is a book called Night Watch. Night Watch. Again, similar, you know, information uh, to the Burns Celestial uh, Handbook. Similar, not as much detail, of course. Uh, color pictures, sections on the different kinds of telescopes, binoculars, how to view the night sky, suggestions on how to do that. You know, so, and some star charts in there, too, with some objects uh, denoted on that star chart, okay? So, uh, pretty comprehensive for the beginner amateur astronomer. So, this would be another book that I could recommend to you called Night Watch, A Practical Guide to Viewing the Universe. <clears throat> Terrence Dickerson. Dickinson. Dickinson. I said that wrong. Dickinson. All right, so Night Watch. And of course, if you like big books, then you got to go out there and get you the Night Sky Observer's Guide. The Night Sky Observer's Guide. It's two volumes. Volume one, volume two. Uh, autumn, winter, spring, summer. And again, very detailed information about all the objects, virtually all of them, in the night sky with photographs and write-ups on all of them and charts to help you find them. Uh, each one of these books is about 500 pages long. So very comprehensive uh almost an encyclopedia of night sky objects. The Night Sky Observer's Guide, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Right. 
Now, there's one book I don't have. I uh, loaned it out, and the fella has never brought it back to me, but I read it already. It's okay. And that is Turn Left at Orion. Turn Left at Orion. Very popular, another very popular stargazing book. So you need to write that down. Turn Left at Orion. Very, very popular. Uh, lots of Telrad charts in it. Uh, I think you'll like that book also. Uh, Turn Left at Orion. And finally, you need something to carry out in the field. If you're going to be an amateur astronomer and really learn the night sky and uh, kind of figure out your way around, you need a map. You know, you go to Walmart, you're going to go drive across the country before there was GPS and satellites and all that stuff, and you would buy a Rand McNally uh, Road Atlas, and you would put that in the car. You would have the latest edition, too. <clears throat> If you remember that, if you're old enough to remember that, uh, they still sell them at Walmart. I saw them in there the other day, Rand McNally. almost bought one just to stick it in the car. Uh, had every map of every road of any significance in the entire United States, you know, in it, large maps. So in astronomy, we have a similar thing. And it's called uh, the Sky Atlas 2000, okay? Sky Atlas 2000, so you can Google that up. And this is meant to lay on a desk. It's spiral bound, so you can lay it flat on a table out in the field at night. And it has very comprehensive charts Big charts of the night sky. Let me see if I can get you one of them just to give you a kind of a feel for it. So here you go. I don't know what kind of resolution you're getting out of that right now. But section of the sky with uh, a multitude of stars designated on this little map portion number nine here. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're going to explore the night sky, you've got to have a map. Uh, of the night sky, a detailed map. This is a detailed map of the night sky. And uh, every section of the night sky is contained in this map. So, Sky Atlas 2000, Sky Atlas 2, not inexpensive, but well worth the uh, if you're serious about the hobby, it's well worth uh, getting a copy of this, okay? All right, so uh, I think I filled you up with books there. Lots of them are very large books. The Burnham's and the Night Sky Observer's Guide are huge books. So uh, go out there, and we'll give you some links uh, to Amazon, more than likely and kind of put you on to some of these books I showed you and maybe a few others. And uh, if you want to get involved in the hobby, then you're going to have to do a little bit of studying uh, in some of these books. And here they are. So with that said, I wish you clear skies and 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. You be good. Subscribe. See y'all later. More videos to come.